What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another episode and today's focus is going to be more on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic and specifically we're going to be covering protection here. So we're going to be installing a few items to keep the Watch 6 Classic in tip top shape. So here we have a tempered glass screen protector by Suman. And then we have the Spigen Rugged Armor Pro case band. Yes, it is a case and a band all in one to provide full coverage for that Watch 6 Classic. Now, before we get started with this episode, you can see that I have this thing here that looks kind of like a gun. It's a battery powered air compressor. This is going to be very helpful for installing screen protectors because it allows us to blow off all the debris that might be on the display so that we don't get anything trapped underneath when doing the install. I totally recommend something like this. So all things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So we previously unboxed the Watch 6 Classic that we have here. But I left it in the box because of course I didn't have protection yet. And in fact, I had to order this yesterday off of Amazon, the tempered glass screen protector. And that came today, thankfully. Else I would have had to wait until next week to do this episode. But I've got everything in the box still for the Watch 6 Classic because again, keep that protected and in tip top shape. So we are going to start with the unboxing of the Spigen Rugged Armor Pro Case. Nothing crazy going on here. We've got some Spigen branding and image of the watch in the case, some details. Now, as I said in the unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, when it comes to any of these cases, most important detail to keep an eye out for will be that size. So you can see this says Watch 6 Classic 47 millimeter. Here we have the Watch 6 Classic 47 millimeter. So this case is compatible with this watch. But anyways, returning to the unboxing, we're going to have Spiegel and Brandon on the side there. And on the back, just some information for US and Canada customers, EU customers, some other little details. On the side, we are going to have installation instructions. And I do want to cover the installation here because it can be a little challenging. I've actually had this case band for my previous Samsung Galaxy watches with a little bit minor variation. So I had this case for the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. And this case is going to be most similar to the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic case because both of these devices, the Watch 6 Classic and the Watch 4 Classic, have that rotating bezel. And this case makes a little space for that rotating bezel because you wanna be able to, of course, rotate it while it's in the case. So let's go ahead and unbox this here. We're gonna have a nice little arrow there. This is actually a little bit challenging to open. It's like opening a Happy Meal box, to be honest, from McDonald's. And then we're going to have the case band in plastic. We're going to unwrap that. I love the way this looks. Again, I've had this for my Watch 4 Classic and the Watch 5 Pro. And the reason I love this is because it has kind of a G-Shock appearance to it. I'm gonna see if I can focus in here a little bit. So if you take a look, we have some faux carbon fiber accent there. Absolutely love that. We have a little bit of Spigen branding. We've got shock resist on here. That's a label. And that's what kind of gives us the G-Shock appearance. And this unit is all blacked out. Really technical looking. We've got some faux carbon fiber accent on the side there. I'm gonna to try to rotate here so I can see if I can demonstrate that. The band is going to also have some faux carbon fiber accent. I believe that's what was on the other side as well. And the band also has a bit of sparkle to it. Not overly done, but very subliminal. There's a little sparkle there. We've got nice huge cutouts for the buttons there. That's gonna make them easy to access. And then you can see here, we have a nice cutout for that rotating bezel. Just looks really nice. 
But let's go ahead and install the Watch 6 Classic into the case band. So of course, I'm going to try to install the case band according to the directions we see on the box. So I'm going to rotate this case band around. Just make sure that I have the correct orientation. And then we're going to grab the Watch 6 Classic and I am going to try to push it in here. Now it's going to show this side going in first. And I think what's tough about this is you're also going to be fighting the buttons. And this is also a new case, so it may fit tight ideally. This is not going to be easy. I'm going to tell you that now. It actually gets easier with time. There is a little bit of a technique here. And I'm also going to say it takes a little bit of luck. It actually went in there pretty easy for me once I had it going. But you can see it's installed now. Pretty easy to do once you have that technique down. And I think this was a little bit easier for me because I actually installed this again on several of the Samsung Galaxy watch models. Uh, but this looks really, really nice and it's going to fit really well. I'm going to actually put it on so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Okay, so I've got this nice and close to the camera and I'm going to place this on my wrist, just nice and snug. Fits really good. I actually like to leave it a little loose here, but that's what it's going to look like, really nice looking. If you're looking for a case band that gives you that G-Shock appearance, this is the option to go for. Now I will say I wish there were more color options to kind of go along with that G-Shock appearance. I wish there was like a bright red, um, any other colors, definitely a bright red though. I feel like bright red would be necessary. But then we have that rotating bezel, nice and smooth operation. Again, you might be able to hear it. It's got very low click feedback, very nice tactile feel so that you know you're rotating the bezel. But overall, appears to work really good while providing overall protection. You can see that we have this uh, clasp set up here with Spiegel and Brandon on it as well. And then we have this portion here that kind of secures the rest of the band so that it's not extending out, just kind of hanging out in the open. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Buttons are going to be easy to access here. And of course, I don't have the unit on right now because I'm going to install the tempered glass screen protector. But uh, really nice. And just another little thing to point out, we've got that rugged armor branding at the top there as well looks really nice but anyways now is time to install the tempered glass screen protector and again this is by suman and uh i'm hoping that i can just use my finger to open this and i believe this unit shipped with four display protectors you've got a suction cup thing to help install that You've got some wipes and lint cloths there. And then you've got all the screen protectors. So again, we're going to have four here. You know, that's really good. But I do find that these actually work really well. I've ordered them for the other Samsung Galaxy Watch models. Never had to use the other ones. The one that I installed is still on the Watch 5 Pro to this day. So these hold up really well, solid recommendation. So anyways, I'm going to get that Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic display cleaned off, and then we can install one of these display protectors. Now, again, you can use the supplies that are included in the kit to clean your watch, but I'm going to use a microfiber cloth and glass cleaner. Not a whole lot of glass cleaner, just enough here to Get the display cleaned off and we don't have to do a whole lot of work because the watch 6 classic is is brand new so there really shouldn't be too much dirt on there and then we're going to have our battery powered air compressor just to make sure there are no debris 
And then I'm going to set the Watch 6 Classic down. I'm going to grab one of our display protectors. And this is conveniently labeled. So the back is of course going to have protective film on it so that it's obviously not going to be dirty when we install it. Now before I install that tempered glass screen protector, I like to grab a bit of glass cleaner, but I just wanna make sure that there are no debris on the watch face itself. That's looking pretty good. And just a little bit of spray there. Then set the Watch 6 Classic down. Peel off the protective film on the display protector. Just make sure you don't touch the side that's supposed to mount on the watch face itself. And then we can press this into place. You can kind of use your fingers a little bit to push out some of the liquid. And the reason I actually use glass cleaner here is because you can kind of align the screen protector. You can move it around still versus if you were going to try to install it dry. And that's just going to take some time. I'm actually going to work on this a little bit better, a little bit more, that's the better word for it. And then I'm going to present it to you so you can see what it looks like when it's installed with nothing underneath. And you're going to be getting a very good view because it's going to look really good. And now we can do the close-up. So here we have the close-up of the display protector installed. You can see it looks really good. With the methods that I used, we were able to get a nice clean install. And this is something that just takes time, patience, and a technique. Again, I just recommend the items that I showed in this video, and you should be able to get similar performance. And again, if I can do it with a dog that sheds like crazy, so can you. Uh, but anyways, it's time to put on the Watch 6 Classic and uh, power it on here. Let's get it going. And then I can actually talk about reviewing it. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon check in out. Yeah.